let me tell her. So, what I can say about her? She is the daughter of her mother. I have no proper C1. Her mother is very busy. She is also very busy with her full time job. And she's busy with reading, with video game, dancing, cooking class. And he also, she also helped me, helped me with the question. So she really don't want people to ask her, why don't you have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> <laughs> and well, let, welcome, Daphne. Sorry, her talk today is a uh, TED TV speech. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, good evening. Good evening. Today, I want to share with you my favorite hobby, making handcrafts. I like to make a lot of different things with my hands. Among them include pillows, <coughs> cards, jewelry, and of course, teddy bears. For my very first teddy bear, I bought a book, I followed the instructions in the book, and I made this teddy bear. Then, I went on to take a class. I learned how to make a teddy bear properly. After much practice and learning, I made this teddy bear. I made this teddy bear. Now, he's a little heavy, so. <laughs> <laughs> this may sound like a typical opening for a Toastmasters speech. I can then go on to talk about what I learned in my class, what difficulties I faced, and how I felt when I accomplished what I went there to do. Then I can tie up my speech with a meaningful message such as, never give up, or practice makes perfect. But, I can tell you right now, if I ever give this speech, my only purpose would be to show off the teddy bears that I made. <laughs> In fact, that's why I use them for my opening today. By the way, these are all hands up, no sewing machines. When many people think about giving a Toastmasters speech, they panic. They worry that their message may not be meaningful enough. They worry that they may not be funny enough. Or they worry that their English is not good enough so people can't understand. I know many of our Toastmaster guests are also intimidated when they are asked to come here and talk. But, as some of you may have heard my last speech about New York, my message was, life is not that serious. It's okay to have some fun. The same thing applies to your Toastmasters speech. Now, Mr. President, I'm not trying to tell our audience that Toastmasters is not important, so please don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Giving a Toastmasters speech is very much like making a teddy bear. You start out by reading instructions in a book. This is why we have the Toastmasters manual. You start small with a small project. It can be a small teddy bear or your C1 speech, which you just have to come up here and introduce yourself. Then, you start by making a little teddy bear foot. Maybe you decide what you want to talk about. You make the other little teddy bear foot. You, give, you list out the points that you want to say. You make the little teddy bear arm, you make the second one. The left ear, the right ear, the head, the body. You put all the pieces together and suddenly you have your very first little teddy bear speech. You give your speech, you go back, you practice and you learn more. Very soon, you will be surprised with what you can accomplish. When I finished this teddy bear and I brought it to show my friends, they didn't believe that I made it. So they were flipping the bear around trying to find the tag. <laughs> when they didn't find the tag, then they believed that I made the teddy bear. Now, here in our Toastmasters Club, we have many teachers and students to learn from, so you're not alone. Having said that, I would like to help you by telling you what your first step is. For guests, very simple. Join Toastmasters. <laughs> All you have to do is approach any officer after the meeting, tell them you want to join, pay a little fee. Now, I say it's little fee compared to what you're going to gain from joining this club. For my fellow members, your first step is also very simple. Go to our VP of Education, Cody. Where's Cody? Is he here today? Cody, tell him you want to give your next speech. Go back, read the manual, start small. Make your little teddy bear feet, make the little teddy bear arms, the head and the body, put it all together, and come up here and give your first speech. Now your first speech 
may look something like this little teddy bear. It looks like a bear, you know what it is. But actually, its fur is growing the wrong way. <laughs> the eyes are too far apart, the ears are a little crooked. But with more practice and learning, very soon, you will be giving your own <coughs> big teddy bear speech that will match the professional standards. And I can tell you from personal experience, accomplishing, <laughs> <laughs> accomplishing the seemingly impossible is extremely satisfying. It is worth all the hard work, believe me. Giving a Toastmasters speech is not that serious, and it's not that difficult. Think of it as a chance to come onto the stage and tell the world how wonderful of a person you are, or how impressive your past accomplishments were. Take a lighthearted approach to it. Don't be so serious. And most importantly, remember to have fun. So now, Please go on and, and take the first steps that I just told you, and I look forward to hearing all of your big teddy bear speeches very soon. Toastmaster.